Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my internet and technology videos and today I'll talk about how to cast your Android phone screen to your TV. So before you start casting your uh, phone screen to your TV, you need to make sure you have some of the stuff and which I'll show you right now. So here I have some uh, index cards where I'll mention what you need before you start casting your screen. So the first thing uh, you need to make sure that you have Android version 5.0 or above if you have purchased your phone after 2014. So most likely you're going to have Android 5.0 which you can easily check by going to phone settings and then about. And uh, most likely you're going to have that but if you don't have that then you need to upgrade to Android 5.0 or above. And then you're going to need some sort of hardware for example uh, it could be a Chromecast or Google TV with Chromecast or other hardware or casting uh, devices and then if you have a smart TV which is just a TV with an uh, internet connection uh, that can cast your screen as well I'll talk about this a little bit later and then also you need to have a Google Home app installed on your Android phone and the most important thing that you have to make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi network uh, as your phone and your TV so once you have this then you can start casting your screen if you have been using any Google smart home devices, uh, it is likely that you already have Google Home app on your phone. Uh, if you do not have that, then you have to install that on your phone. And I'm going to show you how it looks like. Google Home application is actually right here. So it looks like a home and it's called Google Home. So you have to have this, this application installed on your phone. If you do not have that, then you can go to your uh, Google Play and install Google Home app and also you need to have a Chromecast too. So let me just talk about uh, assuming that you have set up your Chromecast on your uh, TV and you have installed on your Google Home then how to uh, cast your screen. Open up your Google Home application and you have to turn on your TV and then you're going to see all your devices which you have installed or which are able to you know cast your uh, phone screen so we are working with the uh, chromecast which we have it right here so i'm going to just you know click on chromecast and then it's going to take you to a separate screen and on this screen if you look on the lower left button then you can see that uh, there's a section or there's a button like uh, cast my screen and this is where you need to press to cast your uh, screen or to cast your phone screen so for example if I press it here right now then it's telling me that you know cast to mirror device uh, mirroring lets you cast your phone and tablet screen and audio to your TV or speakers and then cast a screen so you're going to get this warning so basically what it tells you that you know uh, any sensitive information can be displayed on uh, your TV or where you're casting so just to make sure of that uh, because there might be in information such as passwords payments or anything so if you just you know click start now and then it's telling you that you know it's already casting your screen to uh, the device for example here if you want to stop it then it's saying that you know stop mirroring so for example you can see that you know I'm casting my uh, screen on the TV and uh, basically it's going to show whatever you're looking at on your phone on your TV so let's move on to some alternate ways uh, if you do not have any uh, Chromecast or Google devices or Google TV then still you can uh, cast and I'm going to talk about that there's another way you can cast your screen from your Android phone to your smart TV you don't need any Chromecast or any Google uh, TV or any uh, other devices in order to do that you have to change your source on your smart TV to cast a screen then you have to just you know follow the instructions on the screen uh, which I'll not go into detail and then uh, if you don't have a smart TV or if you don't have you know Chromecast or anything then still you can cast your screen which you will uh, be able to do if you you know install a screen mirroring app uh, on your phone and if you go to Google Play and then just search for screen mirroring app or screen casting app it will give you a bunch of applications and you can just you know uh, try which one works for you uh, and then 
You can also cast your uh, phone screen to your TV using other streaming uh, devices, for example, Roku or there are many other. So that's another option. And then if you don't want to do any of this, then you have another option, which is the old way it would be wired connections. But this is a bit complicated because you have to have a HDMI adapter and have to attach HDMI cable to your uh, TV. And then you have to attach the other part of the cable to the adapter and then you have to attach the USB C or micro USB to your phone based on what what type of phone you have so you may need to buy a micro HDMI adapter or USB C HDMI adapter so this works too but this is a little bit complicated so I, I, don't, I don't recommend this one so there are many ways to you can cast your screen another example I would like to show you that you know uh, you don't have to even go to Google home to start casting your screen if you just you know go to your phone settings then you're going to have an option right here which it says cast screen and if you don't see that option in here then just click on the pencil and then you're going to see that you know one of the option or one of the buttons here is going to be cast screen so you have to just you know put it from here to here and if you just click on the cast screen then it will uh, Give you the option to cast a screen just like the way we uh, reached before from uh, google home play so that's all i wanted to talk about thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing to this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you